But this season for Indiana football has been magical and something IU students really never saw coming. Pressure off the edge and it's intercepted. Before the start of this college football season for IU senior and sports media student Weber Mitchell, a scene like this in Bloomington, unimaginable. Before Coach Ignati came in, it was kind of expected that IU football wasn't going to be anything special. The stadium was never full. But oh, how things can change. Head coach Kurt Signetti and his 13th ranked Hoosiers continue to shock the world this season, currently holding an undefeated 8-0 record, a level of success that Indiana last saw in 1967 that generates growth with each new win. For the last two games, it's just been ridiculous. Everybody's excited to go to the games. Everybody wants to go. And when Mitchell says everyone, he means everyone, including ESPN's famous pregame show, College Game Day. Visiting Indiana on a Saturday for the first time ever, the show and the team caught the attention of thousands, including two sophomores from the Summit City who waited 18 hours for a front row seat. It was absolutely crazy. I never thought I'd see thousands of people line up at 4 a.m., but that's exactly what we saw <laughs> out there. We never thought that this would come, and neither have the other 40,000 students. So when it does show up, it's like everyone's like, hey, this it, this is a once in a lifetime thing. An unprecedented season that Mitchell sees up close in his work for the Hoosier Network that he truly appreciates. Having an exciting football program is just a different feel around campus. And the fact it's our senior year is beyond awesome. You know, it makes it something to be excited about. Excitement that these students feel will roll on all season long. Don't be surprised when the Hoosiers are in the playoffs. I hope they, they're able to keep the winning streak alive as long as they can and ideally make it to the Big Ten Championship and the college football playoff. But if that were to happen, this place would be changed forever. <laughs> The Hoosiers will return home next Saturday to take on Michigan, where secondhand ticket sales have reached a nearly $300 entry price. Reporting in studio, Andy Newman, 21 Alive Sports.